The following video presentation is brought to you by the Slainsville General Store. Visit Slainsville General with a variety of goods and services. It's much more than a convenience shop. It was time to go up to Cotty's Castle and investigate the area firsthand. Glenwood Johnson's son, Ken, was kind enough to take us up to the site of the incident. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Tell you, caught it was in shape. <laughs> this is the easy part. <laughs> oh, really? Uh huh. Amazing what you'll do when you fear for your life, huh? Up here's where you probably have to ditch the horse. He might not go any further. And right up there, as you can see, is just the back side of it this we're looking at, Ken? Yeah, this is the back side. That is an like impressive it. rock formation there. It's been years since I took geology. <laughs> There's a chestnut burr hanging off the yeah. limb. It might. I, I tell you, it, it seems like when they come up so big, this is what this is what happens to them. Is this a path too? Huh? See, I think over the years, this rock is actually. When I was a kid, this was a little bit wide. I think over the years, that that stone. One there. hand, it's a little hard. Yeah. Your footing. Oh what? You know, it's got some beautiful water. Is that uh, is that considered pretty clean uh, river? Yeah, I think so. As it uh, it's it still has the uh, uh, what would you call freshwater clams. Oh, this is like a. Uh, you want a stick? No, thanks. No. I don't want to poke around there. I might find something I no, don't that's want. That's why I offered you the stick. Oh, yeah. That's why I bought it. Yeah, you, you stand there and look out. What an incredible view. I can see why you say the view up is spectacular too. Right. What's, the, what's the guy's name? Looking for the sign. This was it was going across the and I'm surprised we may see an eagle up here. That'd be a tree. But look at this, but look at this right here. Isn't that something? How quickly somebody could just lose their step trying to get up here. People could see this is where, where we don't right we down want you everybody go. to enjoy themselves. But this is the things they do. Here you go, Ken. <laughs> can I get down? I don't know if I can get down. Oh, I'll tell you, I can set it right here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you're welcome. 
So right there is the summit of Cotty's Castle. Yes. We're here at the top of Castle Rock. We made it quite a trip up here. Uh, Story and Charles Hall made it. We climbed the path. Your impressions, first I'm a little winded myself, but starting to uh, feel better. Uh, your impressions of the trip up here, Charles? Well, uh, we saw a hawk, but we didn't get you uh, any rattlesnakes to see. No, so uh, far, and I'm glad about that oh, part. Okay. <laughs> but it is, it is quite a trek. Uh, the road in from uh, the hard surface is uh, quite challenging. But then when you get out and you start walking, you realize that this really is a, is a tough spot among these mountains. Uh, just a rocky crag. Just over my left shoulder is the, the summit of Cotty's Castle, where it would have taken place, the alleged incident. Um, Cotty made it to at least this uh, small clearing, uh, if you will, where we're standing, or scaled the last uh, of 30, 40 feet on up to the summit. Let's make a little bit of a conclusion here, uh, Charles. We've the setting certainly is, is appropriate. Uh, we know that uh, it was the time of hostilities. We know that he was a well-known early person here. Um, but uh, I, I just don't want to conjecture. But I, I would say that although anywhere along this trail there are small areas where he could have defended himself, I think that James Cotty was the kind of man who would like to be on the top because the view from there is spectacular. That's the best view. So, uh, folks, it's going to stay in folklore of whether it did happen. He certainly fought Indians. Whether he got up here and actually shoved them off is a question that will uh, linger in history. Uh, certainly if he did, whether it was 10 to 15 Indians is another speculation. So you think that the tale of uh, being 10, 15 is just something that's kind of got distorted as the years go by and people add a couple more to it? Uh, yes, I think, you know, as most stories go, they pick up. I, I think that perhaps if there was four or five Indians, he may have shoved two or three of them off. And the others gave up and called it a day, you know, and left the area. A story I don't think could have held this long and been important to people unless it has some truth to it.